Well, you gotta love the weather in Minnesota. Had ourselves a little mid-April snowstorm and had some pretty stout winds. And uh, my shed tried to Mary Poppins away. As you can see, it's no longer on top of the LTD there. Normally we get the winds from the west, which is uh, the way I'm pointing right now. And this last storm, they came from the east. And it looks like they blew that front door in. And uh, wind got in there and that thing took off like a kite. <laughs> and flew right over up top of the car. And landed over here. Yeah. I think she's pretty well toast. As you can see, it picked up these uh, these treated 4x4s too and hauled them right over top of the car. That's nuts. And I don't think it did any damage to the car. Nothing uh, too bad anyway. No broken windows. And I guess the uh, rear view mirror got a little, a little, uh, a little tweaked. Other than that, you know, minor issues. Don't see any any big dents or anything, so pretty tough car. Unfortunately, the shed wasn't very tough, so I'm gonna have to tear this stupid thing down and see if I can move it out of the way. Because right through here, this is where I drive the uh, cars to get them out of the other shed. That thing held up good. Good times. Gotta love the weather. Alright, I got this thing sort of somewhat pulled back into shape here. And it looks like I might be able to actually salvage this thing. Uh, at least the roof anyway and the poles. Obviously the walls are gone, but I only see one, one hole here in the roof. I could probably patch that easy enough and uh, all the poles are still pretty straight themselves, except for the that peak part got a little bit tweaked, but I think I can bend it back and she'll be all right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the walls off and uh, try to line up some of these boards somewhere and uh, screw them back together and drag this thing at least out of the way for now. And then maybe later down the road we can... Uh, See if I can get a little better tarp and uh, put her back together. And when I anchor those to the ground, I think I'll, uh, well, I'll anchor them to the ground. I won't just use 4 by 4 So see if we can get this thing back into something of a shape. And then you anchor out of here with the truck. All right, I got the walls hacked away here. And I got a little board on the front to hold these two apart. And I got a chain wrapped around it, so hook that to the truck and pull on it and see if we can get this thing to do a little pirouette and head out that way so it's out of my way. It's either going to work or it's going to fall apart I guess it don't really matter at this point but it can't stay here that's for sure so let's give her a shot. All right let's see what happens. Well, there we go. Now I can get to my shed again. I'll probably end up parking that LTD in there, but yeah, not yet. Not right now. All in all, that thing's pretty sturdy for what it is. I didn't expect it to last this long, but it was about 140 bucks, I think, shipped. And it stood up for about a year. I only needed it to stay up for a winter, so 
it beat my expectations. I'll probably have to do some uh, some work to it, but I mean it's still mostly together. That pole ended up breaking, but still a roof anyway. So I'm happy with it. Now I just gotta rebuild it at a later date.